On our way to Tennessee to help our daughter move, we decided to make a road trip out of it, and we started off in Livingston, Texas, at the Fane Theater. It's no longer in use, but it's still beautiful. One screen, 300 seats. Next, we went to the Blue Duck Cafe. It started off as a merchant store in 1935, Yes. and it has a really cool interior, great food, a really nice owner, and just an overall great vibe. Miss Strott's 1935 chain stores. Really cool. From the inside, I could have sworn that it was a church. Eight hours later, we finally made it to West Memphis and settled down for the night. off early for our one full day in Memphis by crossing the Mississippi River. Immediately we were charmed by the character of the city. Our first major stop was at the Lorraine Motel, the site of Dr. Martin Luther King's assassination and now the site of the Civil Rights Museum. Next, in need of refreshment, we stumbled upon Memphis's oldest diner, founded in 1919, the Arcade Restaurant. So this is Jameson orange juice and bacon. And it literally is breakfast is so good. in a shop. Afterward, we went back to the riverside to take in the sights of the Mississippi. As if on cue, we were serenaded by a bird right before we came to a memorial of James Audubon.
On our way to our next major stop, we saw beautiful murals and music played throughout the alleyway. Next, we went to Rendezvous for their world-famous ribs for lunch. Immediately after, it was time to hit Beale Street. We decided to memorialize our stay by placing a dollar on the wall. Unfortunately, Craig was so excited that he misspelled my name. We then stopped by the Peabody Hotel to see the world-famous Marching of the Ducks. In the Peabody, we were surprised to find an antique piano that was made exclusively for Francis Scott Key. Then it was back to Beale Street. At one of the diners, we were encouraged by locals to watch the University of Memphis basketball game. We had great seats, it was a great game, and of course it ended up running. Afterward, we found an Irish piano. Next, we just took in some sights from Beale Street again. The next morning, on our way out of town, we made sure to stop by the Memphis Drum Shop and by Sun Studios. Heading out into Tennessee, we stumbled across an Eiffel Tower 
and then Fort Donelson, which is my first look at a Civil War battlefield. For a former history major, this was everything I had hoped for. The sights, the sounds, the terrain, everything was as I had pictured it. We then finished our tour by paying our respects at the National Cemetery.